Welcome, I'm Dr. Steve Lautenschlager with ninjamastery.net. Good morning, it's Thursday, February 21st, 2019, and it's supposed to be above freezing today, so that's a good thing. What I wanna to do today is show you how to connect to the free daily data kinetic data feed with the free version of ninja trader so the first thing we're going to do assuming that you've downloaded the free version of ninja trader already is we're just going to click the icon to open it the first thing we see when we open ninja trader then is the connection window now if you're like me, the first time that you opened up Ninja Trader and you saw this window, it was pretty confusing because it's asking for a username and a password and you didn't create a username and password when you downloaded Ninja Trader. Ninja Trader, the free version, is absolutely free to use and doesn't require a username and password. What does require a username and password, potentially, is the data feed. This is only asking you about the data feed. It's defaulting to a connection type of NinjaTrader Continuum demo. But what we're gonna do is look at these connection types. Um, if you had a Kinetic subscription, you would use this first option that says Just Kinetic. And if you had a subscription, you would have a username and password that you could type in here if you wanted to. We're not gonna do that. If you look down here, you see Kinetic End of Day Free. We're just gonna select that and the username and password gets grayed out. You don't need a username and password to connect to this. It's absolutely free. So at this point, we say connect. And NinjaTrader opens up with the default workspace associated with that data feed. And you can see we have a couple of daily uh, charts. And in the lower left, we have a weekly chart. Let's take a look at our control center. And you can see in the top, there's this option called connections. If we click on that, you can see the various different connections that are available to us. One is this kinetic end of day free. And as you can see, it's got a little green light next to it and it has a disconnect option here to uh, disconnect if you wanted to. So let's do that. And when we do, you can see then that there's no green light and there's no longer a connection option. So now I want to close down Ninja Trader and open with another option. So now we've opened Ninja Trader again and we get this connection uh, dialog window again. This time, instead of selecting a connection type, we're just going to say skip. And all it means when we skip this is that NinjaTrader will not be connected to a data feed. Okay, so if we look in the control center under connections, we see that kinetic end of day is not connected. There's no green light, so uh, there is no data connection. So why do we have some charts? Well, these charts are based on data that is cached in the local database. So if you've already downloaded data and it's local, NinjaTrader will go ahead and use it even if you don't have an open connection. However, if we were to try to chart some data at this point, we're not connected to any data feed. We'll just pick a stock that we haven't charted at any point, which means that it's not cached locally already. So we'll pick AA and we'll take the defaults here. So down here, you can see that a tab has been opened for AA, but no chart is displayed. That's because it doesn't have the data. It doesn't have locally, and we don't have an active data connection, so it can't reach out and pull that data down. If we go ahead and connect to kinetic end of day, okay, we get the green light over here that tells us which connection is open, and the data goes ahead and loads. So NinjaTrader figures out after you open the connection if there's any data that needs to be downloaded, and it goes ahead and does that.